Empress. This is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Remember, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. It's an energetic reading, so it really is wherever Taurus influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next oh, seven days, maybe a little bit more. Please remember, if it does not fit, don't squeeze it. Just let it go. This is for Taurus. Taurus energy for the next seven days. Messages for Taurus coming out. Sing your own song and trust in the magic. This is your crowning energy. This is air energy, so it's 100% appropriate for this time, right? It's Aquarius energy. But this is about really feeling good about yourself, feeling open, feeling, feeling confident, and relying on who you are, being able to speak your mind and share yourself. There's got a lot to do with song here. So it's about finding your rhythm and finding your your place and finding the right words and being listened to as well as having something to say, being able to say it in ways that people want to hear. And this is very new for you. It could be a, 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 a time where you're coming out of an awkward stage where you're maturing a little bit. You're going from sort of childhood to young adulthood type of thing. Like, you know, it's, um, or if even if you're 60 years old, a, a, a phase of your life is just beginning. It's like something had already ended and this is a new stage of your life, a new way. I feel like it's a new relationship with yourself, but it's new opportunities. It's new chances. Uh, trust in what's happening with you right now because um, because it's, it's sincere, it's true, and it's a really opportune time, Taurus, for you to use all the opportunities that are coming your way um, to really get yourself out there and get yourself heard. Use your voice this week. Use it as much as you can, as often as you can. This is the energy of 12. One plus two is three. So that's divineness, divinity, and complete real cosmic balance. And then 66 adds up to 12, which is also one plus two is also three. So this is really being completely balanced. Body, heart, uh, um, body mind, and spirit balance the holy trinity of divine balance. Uh, you're feeling really, really good. So that's what's crowning your reading. What I love about this is maybe you're getting opportunities that you had not gotten before or opportunities that had been denied to you before are now coming through. When you speak, people will listen. So when I get canary, canary energy is sing your own song, right? It's being yourself. It's being able to be yourself out loud. And it's almost like it's more than just having something to say. It's about the joy that you say it with. So this is an opportunity that really um, feels good to you and that you feel really good about. Um, and there's going to be, there's, it, this is just the beginning. So something is coming from this opportunity. Something is, something maybe, no, this is too much. We're going to keep it. <laughs> Keep going. Um, something is coming from this opportunity. This is just the beginning. That's all I can hear. That, that, that's what I'm hearing. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. It's probably what I'm going to name this reading because it's just such a, a big part of this mentality right now is this is just the start. I feel like, and that's why they're two very youthful birds. There's an energy of sort of self-confidence and, and, you know, it could just be this is only the beginning of how good you feel about yourself or beginning of how your self-acceptance, this is the first time you've actually really felt like you belong somewhere. You have like a solid footing or a solid ground, but this is also, or that you're finally being heard, but this is really just the beginning. There's a lot of opportunities and doors, almost like a portal to abundance is opening for you, Taurus. Um, canary spirit and raven spirit. Uh, but this is white raven spirit. Okay, flipping around. Ooh, time for a beginner mind is also coming out. What? I want to keep going. You may be a little bit defensive. You may be a little bit in denial. But I honestly think this is even more confidence. This is basically wearing your scars and your bruises on the outside. This is letting everybody see exactly who you are, walking into the room with everything that is really you and really owning it, like dolling it up and dressing it up, bristling. Something could have irritated you and pissed you off a little bit, but no, 
It's more being playful in a very protective way. In other words, you know, you know your self-worth now, so you're not going to, it's not going, you're not going to let those kind of guards, it's not defensive. It's like, it's your self-confidence is that sense of defense. It's like your, your, your sense of self-acceptance is why you can be so happy. These are two readings in a row where you have gotten really, really happy energy. Freedom, breaking free, breaking free from old patterns, breaking free from um, old relationships, breaking free from old mindsets, maybe even moving away from a place that held you down or made you feel like you were locked away or that you didn't have any opportunities waiting for you. Uh, this is you really feeling let go and released and wild and carefree. This is beautiful, abundant energy. This is also just like a little bit, it's almost like, it's almost like teenage, teenage energy. It's like, it's like it's wild and it's carefree and it's open and it doesn't mind taking risks. There's, but it's also, it, the, the horse has got four hooves. And so that's a solid grounded energy, but this is an air card because for me, for me in this deck, because of the fact that it's wild and free. And it, it, it has the emotional freedom. This is about emotional freedom from things that held you back. Okay, that's why this is a new time. 33, once again, we're getting 33. We're getting 33 in a lot of places. So this is a really balanced, beautiful time for you. I want you to enjoy this. It's coming in. Aquarius season is doing really well for you. Lay a solid foundation. You're just starting. You're just beginning. This is Virgo energy coming through for you. Um, this is you beginning to build your new life, beginning to build a new project, a new relationship, beginning to build you and who you want to be in the future, really letting go anything that was preconceived about you in the past. Um, um, pushing that away, really getting a fresh start and laying this foundation for who, how people are going to see you in the future. This has a direct relationship to be with how to, this has a direct relationship with how people are perceiving you and how you are controlling it now. It's, it's like they're, they're no longer going, you're no longer fighting against the tide or fighting, you know, trying to convince people that you are, you have a specific value. People know your value. They know your worth. It's like you're you're pushing up, maybe not to be the complete leader, but co-create with spirit. You're right in alignment. This is once again, seven plus one is eight. It's the destiny. This is a time. This is a great time for you, Taurus. This is a wonderful, abundant time. This is listening to spirit and connecting to spirit. And I think part of your freedom and how you became untethered is that you realized that you weren't alone and you just found that faith to basically go it alone if you had to, which is what got you into the situation of appreciation of, of new people, of, of finding a belonging, of not needing to be accepted, to be acceptable to yourself. This and that are true. Um, you're actually bridging the gap between the past and the future right now. That you're, you're walking over the bridge, you're connecting the two, and this is playful energy as well. This is very, this is, this is playful energy. Your emotions are high this week, that there's nothing dragging you down. You're very, very happy. There's a lot of lightness here. Um, this is also you maybe standing in the middle and being like the compromiser, the, the mediator between two different parties, because you are so balanced this week, you can be that mediator between two parties. I really do think this is more of a personal, because this is your central energy, Taurus. So I really do think this is more of a personal energy, of an energy of, 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 like I said, bridging how you used to feel about yourself to how you feel about yourself now. Um, and then we move on to take time out. Uh, this is really mothering energy. This is really mama bear protective energy. This is you are protected. You are loved. You feel secure. That's what this card is telling me. That you feel good about yourself. You feel strong. You feel bold. You feel protected. You know that somebody's got your back. This could be... Um, this could be being close to or being communicated with or seeing somebody really protect you, really stand up for you, stick up for you, um, seeing people uh, invest their faith in you, put their faith in you, stand up and say, no, I don't want you to talk about them like that or that, yes, they absolutely... 
Taurus absolutely does deserve this opportunity. It's like you can actually feel people's presence sticking up for you and protecting you. This is a really wonderful energy that's going to ensure that these opportunities last and that these doorways absolutely want to open up these doorways for Taurus. That's what this energy is. But it's an energy that's coming outside of yourself. Well, no, it's coming twofold because I honestly feel that this partially is you, is you taking over this stance of maybe you're protecting other people or wanting to take care of other people or it matters to you to sort of show the way to other people, mentoring other people or defending them publicly or socially. Um, this is you feeling so good about yourself and so secure in who you are, you're able to now defend others and, and pay it forward. This is also an energy of still though you being backed up and you being supported so you being sort of like the in-between conduit for what's coming to you comes through you and you can pass it on and pay it forward that's a really wonderful energy of sort of continuing the abundance of support if you know you like moving mountains by believing in somebody now maybe somebody in your life did that for you and now you can pay it forward by doing it for other people this is definitely that energy there's some sort of protective and defensive energy here maybe it's like you're, you you got a right to um um we're gonna fight for our right to party you know what i'm saying it's like it has the guy like what i'm getting it's almost like it's almost like, you know you deserve this. You know you deserve to feel good about this. And you're sort of defending people's right to be have fun and to play. That's an interesting energy. Let's see what your grounding energy is. That's going to be... Grounding your energy. First card out is let it shine. Once more, using your voice... I don't know if you're protesting this week, you're singing this week, or you're making a speech this week, giving an oral present. There's something about your voice, letting it shine, it coming out, and you sharing it with the world. And I really feel like the spotlight is on you this week, Taurus. And this is about resurrection. This is about getting a whole new life and being a whole new person. You're not like this... You're not this muted person. You're not this person in the background anymore. Um, this is about being the butterfly. Um, so uh, peacock energy is like phoenix energy. It's rising from the ashes of a, of a real crappy situation and spreading your wings and spreading your feathers and showing the world just how absolutely exquisite you are. You are getting attention this week, 100%. And I think you feel good because you're getting attention this week. Don't depend too much on on other people's approval for how you feel about yourself that's the one warning i will give you but this is a whole new chance people are seeing you in a whole new way where you are right now you're not the ugly duckling anymore they only see you as the swan there's something here upside down now is a lucky time okay this is in reverse though so this is not an unlucky card when it's in reverse. Nine plus four is 13 plus four. This is basically knowing, knowing, knowing where you're lucky, right? And knowing what you currently have and understanding what you currently have. I feel like there's a need in you. There's a little bit of defensiveness in you to not want this all to go to your head. Um, and so you're basically taking a step back and taking inventory. Uh, and saying, I'm not, I can't, I, I don't, I want to enjoy this time. I want to, I want to live up this moment in my life, but simultaneously, I don't want, um, I don't want it to get, I don't, I don't want it to go to my head. Uh, because there's a, there's a lot of abundance coming at you all at once. Watch and wait, but something is speeding up. It's not, you're, you're, there's. This is really contradictory, contradictory energy. Hold on. Maybe things are moving a little bit too fast for you, right? And and that's okay. It's not like you're going to wish your abundance away, but you're 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 watching what you're, you're not just watching and waiting anymore. You're, it's, it's like, it's something's bursting through. Something's happening. Things are happening very, very quickly. And there's a lot of abundance happening to you at the same time. I, I, there's a feeling here of, hold on. Okay. I've thought about these cards. I've meditated on them. And this is what, this is what I'm getting. 
This is an opportunity that you've waited on since you were a kid. This is something that you've wanted for most of your life for a very, very long time. And I think that there's a lot of major breakthroughs that are happening this way, like this, this week. But this is your grounding energy in that for so long it was stagnant. For so long it was in limbo. For so long you thought you were the one that was passed over. This week is the week that people are finally seeing you in the way that you've always wanted them to see you. You're finally getting opportunities that you've always wanted since childhood. You don't have to wait anymore. This week is the week you get to experience these major breakthroughs and these major accolades that honestly, they, they were sitting there. It was almost like stagnated. It was like almost like in hibernation and now they're not anymore. Hold on so I can show you the cards. I mean, look at this. This is an, a beautiful, abundant reading. Crowning your energy is new start, new beginnings, people actually listening to you. You are literally building the rest of your life. You're building your future. And whatever, whatever crumbled and debauchery and whatever it was that was beforehand, those were the building blocks that you laid in really, really deep. Do you understand? You had to almost dig subterranean to dig this deep, firmament, this deep basement level to make sure that your cornerstones were set in stone and you did. That's what it was. You listened to spirit and you freaking did. And the wonderful thing about this is now you have this abundance of happiness in your soul. You, you are not bogged down. You're not heavy. This is a really beautiful, lovable, playful week, but this is the really interesting energy over here, Taurus, of this defensive energy, this protective energy, you know where this comes from? From you learning the hard way, from you struggling to get here, from you realizing that this abundance was, was difficult to win and that you being really grateful for that and you also allowing all of your, all of your scars and all of your spines and all of your bristliness to show it's like listen people aren't going to people people aren't going to just love the good side of me they're going to love the full side of me this is a very this is an energy of and i'm going to turn around and help others and protect others to bridge over this time i want to defend people who were like me at one point who were basically held down or held back or or i just i just want to help i want to help in terms of those situations of people who are still in stagnation i want to turn it around for them and help them push through this is almost like i said that paying it forward energy um taurus you are finally this is the grounding energy you know what this this breakthrough the grounding energy was is what made this breakthrough and what made this breakthrough was finally getting recognized finally not being that geek that always got their hair spit on finally finally being seen as oh you have such beautiful hair how wonderful you are you know not like Finally, you were, you are in a place where people actually adore you and appreciate you and they will never see you as that failure that you felt like you were. There is always going to be that little part of you that feels like that person and that, that like that failure, like that outcast. And that's an actually really good part. That's what this card is about. It's about you owning your outcast and you seeing the beauty in it and you taking it with you wherever you go as a defense for who you are right now. Now, what is coming in in terms of love and romance and in terms of extended reading? That link is below. Taurus, I would love for you to know. I'll see you over there.